Hello, welcome. My name's Jo Everell Taylor, and welcome to Better Body Training and our four week back care challenge. This is a challenge designed to help you mobilize your back and also to strengthen and in place. It's a really simple um, challenge, works over four weeks. There's an exercise each week and there's a PDF. So don't forget to download your PDF and that'll make you accountable and remind you to do your exercises and keep on track and on top of the program. This program is not suitable, however, if you're under the care of a consultant for your back or if you have any bone density issues. If you have any questions at all, please do let us know. Good luck. So, week one, here we go. We're gonna be doing an exercise called a hip glide which is to start to release off this area through the lower back. So the connections that come up from the top of the pelvis through into the areas of the spinal column. I'd like you to stand next to a wall as if you can get another set of feet between you and the wall. You're gonna let your shoulder then lean into the wall and you're simply gonna let your hips glide into the wall and release away. So you're not trying to bang into the wall, it's just a nice fluid glide. And the things to watch out for that your shoulders stay still because if you're tight in your lower back, as you go in, there's a temptation for the shoulders to pull down and away. So we're trying to keep that upper body as still and as steady as we can. And we're just getting that separation of the upper and lower body movement, which will give us some release through that lower back. 10 to 12 repetitions, and then you're going to turn around and do the same on the other side. If there's any pain and discomfort, obviously you want to stop doing that for a couple of days, and then you want to start to build up. So you might only do five or six repetitions to start with, and then take it from there. Have fun. Week two, so this is all about the cat stretch, which is again, getting our spine moving, but in a different way. So releasing off some of the tension that goes right the way from the top to the bottom of the spinal column. So I'd like you to come into all fours, please. So hands underneath shoulders, knees underneath the hips. And all we're gonna do is start from your sit bones and tuck them under. So you squeeze those butt muscles together, drawing up through the abdominals and start to arch through the upper back. And then we're going to lengthen the sit bones away. Now just be mindful when you come to that lower phase of the exercise that you don't drop too much into the back. So you can keep a relatively flat back. So again, we'll do that again. We take a breath in through the nose. As we exhale, we tuck the sit bones under, arching up towards the sky. And then we release back through to centre. We're gonna aim for around four to six repetitions of this. And again, listening to your body. If you can only go to a small range to start with, that's absolutely fine. And bit by bit, as you do the repetitions, you'll start to get moving and feel that the back frees off. Well done. So week three, here we go, with our shoulder bridge exercise. Now shoulder bridge still builds on that spinal mobility, but we start to add in some glute activation, so your buttock muscles, which are gonna really help support your back. So we're starting lying on our backs, palms to the sky, so your shoulders are drawn into the mat. We take a lovely breath in. We're gonna draw up through the body, tilt, the back into the mat and gently start to lift up bone by bone piece by piece we just hold it wherever it feels comfortable trying to keep the hips square to the sky and then we're going to draw the abdominals in and roll down bone by bone piece by piece really trying to imprint one after the other and then come back to our nice set up neutral position here. So we'll try that again. Now the things to look out for, you might only get halfway up and then you might feel stiff and don't want to go any further and then that's absolutely fine. Listen to your body, work with it. It'll get easier the more that you do. 
Focus on the stability of your pelvis and by that I mean as you're lifting and lowering, trying not to wobble side to side. So that's about your brain learning to speak to your body and recruit those buttock muscles. Pay attention to what's happening with your knees and your feet. So if you need to, you can pop a cushion between the knees again to help you give something to hold on to and your body will get that feedback and also you can really squeeze into those big toes. Again, aiming for around four to six repetitions. So, week four, our exercise here is an adapted side bend. This is to help to build some strength and stability through the back. So, we're going to start in this bent arm position. Make sure that the elbow isn't too close into the ribs, or so it's really hard to stabilise the shoulder girdle down and back. We're going to take a lovely breath in, and as we exhale, we're going to lift our ribs. So, imagine there's a hand lifting the ribs from the mat and we're going to let the arm float over the head and then release back to centre. So we inhale to prepare, as we exhale we lift the ribs, lengthen the arm over the head, releasing down. Now if this feels comfortable for you, you can then start to add a hip lift. So we're adding a little bit more strength and stability through into the side of the body, through the glutes, powering up but still focus on what's happening with the shoulder, focus what's happening with your rib cage. Trying to keep that lovely controlled and flowing lift. So if you're lifting up for a count of three, you're lowering for a count of three. When you've done your six repetitions on this side, moving over to the other side. completed all four exercises over the course of those four weeks. How are you feeling? Hopefully you should feel that you've taken control of how your back responds, that you've added in some mobility and added in some strength and stability. Obviously if you need any extra help, there's a whole host of different classes and programs that we have on the website. If you're looking for help with mobility, with flexibility, again we have lots of free challenges for you there as well. See you soon.